out Saturday. The I don't know what it is. Ninth of September or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what day it is. Out in the middle of nowhere. Weather's not looking good. Just had a shower. Look at that man. Damn me. Hedge Hope. Over the back here is a place called Scald Hill, which is where I'm planning to camp on Scald Hill because I don't think there's any point going on to the Cheviot when it's like that at the top of that. The Cheviot's bigger, so it's going to be worse. Oh, it's a nightmare this weather. Welcome to bloody winter. So there's the, uh, the crags, Housie crags, and we've got over here Langley crags. Right. I'm just parked up waiting for this weather to brighten up a bit. It's coming brighter there now. And then I'm going to head up Scald Hill. It's 539 metres. Looks like a steady walk, about a couple of miles maybe. And I'll take it from there. Right, let's get going. Solo camp this time, no Kaza cam. She's gone out. She's gone out on the lash. <laughs> right, let's make a move. Be here all day. Very easy, like. Steep in places. I think when I get. There, just to the top of here, levels off a bit. Look at these black clouds. So I've come from the cars in the distance. Just make them out. I'm just parked in front of them. Just walk up that slippy on them paths. It's like peat. I'll scrape the scrape the grass off so it's dead slippy. Anyway, going up there like a hedge up. <laughs> That's why I won't be going up the Cheviot. Just don't fancy it, like, it's be pointless, isn't it? See what's like when I get up here. And I don't think I'll get up the Cheviot though. Can't be bothered. Plus, it's featureless, boggy. You cannot see now from the top anyway, even on a clear day. It's just, uh, it's just a big plateau on it. So we'll see what this one's like anyway. Look at these well, black clouds, man. It's pure rain, that. Oh. Hey, well, push on. I thought to go. So looking on the map, up here, there's a little, um, Looks like a post of some description. I don't know if that's Scald Hill or not. On the map it says that you, you get to there and then you go that way. But I can't see any hills back there unless it's one of them ones that's hidden. You know the ones. Not far to go anyway. Um, a chop. It's hot on. You really are in the middle of nowhere here. Like it's cold low over there. And, uh, that one, that's called Law. So I'm going to be up there by now. What's <laughs> Black Seat Hill? Back of there. I'm just going to get to the top of there and see what the map says. I thought that was the top. It's not too steep, but it's a brimming. It's just monotonous to walk. Can really get out of breath and all that. I'm carrying three stone extra weight. Minimum three stone I'm carrying extra. That's why I'm always out of breath. But you know, what you do is you just stop, get your breath back, plod on, plod on until you need to stop again. Have a drink, mop your brow, get your breath back, off you go. You'll always get there. It's not a race to the top, like. Not for me anyway. I'd be last if it was a race. 
So anybody who comes walking with me knows I like to have stop, stop, stop. But I don't stop for long. It doesn't take long to get my breath back these days. I just get rid of this weight off us. Carry my backpacks like 20 odd, like 18 kilos, plus at least three stone overweight. We're nearly 16 stone. Man. It's not a beer. I'm gonna have to consider losing weight. I don't get out as much as I used to. You wouldn't think it. People think I'm out all the time. It's only weekends. And through the week, I'm always too knackered from work. So I'll just stop in, you know. Whoa, going on holiday in two weeks. <laughs> should, have, should have had some weight off for that, but anyway, not to worry. Plus, don't forget, I'm nearly 54. So that's, that's a factor in me fitness. Getting on, you know. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. You do what you do at your own pace. Right, anyway, see so what's this up here. Yeah. The bad news for me is that is Scald Hill in front of it. I knew it was too good to be true. That's where you come up, that's where I was before, like wondering if that was, but it said it was uh, just a straight path. I knew it wasn't there. I didn't think it was up there. <laughs> oh no, look at the weather blowing in. Whew. That's the bad news. The good news is it's coming over all right actually. Once that bit hits, I get that. I'm gonna get wet off that. But look at that blue sky behind it. That's coming over here. So I'm gonna get a little bit wet now. But that won't matter because that's gonna come over lovely afterwards. That wind's blowing just the right way. Keep the keep the midges away. Uh, look at the rain up there. I'm just walking straight into that. Hey man. Be worth it though, because the weather over there is looking very favourable. I mean, look at that blue sky and sunshine behind that cloud. The cloud's coming over me. I'm going to put this camera away before it gets soaking. And we'll push on. Probably filming again when I'm at the top because uh, that's going to take about 20 minutes to go over that. Should be up there by then. It's not too bad. It's not steep art now. It's dead boggy though. Look at the ground. Really boggy. Got to watch where you're walking. If you sink, it can go really deep in some of this heather. If you're walking along on the heather, you suddenly just find yourself in a big hole. I've done that before. Mr. Stoke, I'll testify that. I went up to me blooming, up to me waist in a hole, coming down Hedgehog. <laughs> Let's hope I don't do that today. All right. All right, I'm gonna put this away before this rain hits us. I feel it's spitting on now, actually. Uh, well, I'm nearly at the top. I'm only about 30 metres from the top here. It wasn't rain, it was just cloud. The rain's back there. I think I got away with it. So the wind is kind of blowing that way. I'm going up that way. so It's just blowing the cloud over. But look at it, man. Yeah, you get lost here, you know. You can easily get lost up here. I'd suggest you bring a map. No way you are. And I'm using view ranger to keep us right. As long as you've got a battery for that phone, our view ranger is absolutely spot on. Like it pinpoints you exactly right. And if you record your track, you can see where you're walking and where the path goes. It is good. Like I shouldn't rely on things like that, but no, nah, I kind of thought this view ranger. I'll just open it up. I'm plotting the I'm plotting the track I'm on there. See the black lane? I'm the black lane. I went a bit off there because this path was boggy. That was boggy as hell, so I went around the outside. It's along the fence out though, so you always got the fence on your right hand side. And then you come along here, the black lane, you can see where I am. That red circle. And that's Scald Hill. Don't know why they call it that. I shall have to find out. But it's cleared up. Like I said, that weather's coming up. Look, it's opening up again. That's the good thing about the wind blowing. It blows all the cloud away. So, as you can see, I've only got like, Christ, 30, 20, 30 yards. Just that little bit there. 
But this view range is spot on. Look where that pin points me. Absolutely dead on. I'll get to the top and see if there's a trig point and see if it puts us on the trig point. It always does normally. Anyway, come on, let's get going. I'll be here all day. I've got all day. Well, this is the top, believe it or not. Scald Hill. This top is in there, just being on the map there. But there's absolutely nowhere at all, it's deep heather. There's nowhere to pitch a tent over there. Oh, this is not looking good now. I might have to carry on towards the Cheviot. I'll just hang about. Right, the cloud lifts. Just seen a woman there on the doing the Reavers way. She's walked 20 miles a day. God. Off the off the Cheviot down here. And she's walking down to Wooler. Australian. Australian lady, um, and she looked, she looked older than me, shall we say. So I stopped making excuses about being old. She looked about a good 15 years older than me. But she's still flying along, like. Uh, look at that weather lifting now. Uh, I'm gonna have to find a uh, swing to my level. Somewhere level. Not in the bog. This could be tricky. Oh yes. I think I'll just keep walking. Just keep walking up there. Let's see what it's like up there. It's gonna be like this all the way. She reckons it's an acre of this bog. Oh man. I can see me just pitching at the side of the path here, like. I'll see how we'll get on. It is boggy though. What a place. It's not camping friendly up here. If you are from New Zealand, I do apologise. <laughs> well, I've walked down the back of there. Nothing. Nearly disappeared in a bog. What was I saying about the bogs? Um, I'll achieve it there. That's it in all its glory. First time I've seen it the day, actually. Over there, Scotland somewhere. This is the top of Scald Hill. I might just be pitching up there, like. Anywhere flat will do. Don't want to be too close to the path. There's people coming down. Look at that over there, though. I'm making good time up, so I'm missing out here. There's people shooting over there. There's owl canes going on. Great. Try and find a flat bit. Yeah, it'll be alright. It's still only four o'clock, plenty of time. Well, there's been a change of plan. After looking on the map and after looking around, all over the place up there, there's nowhere to pitch like everywhere. If there's a flat bit, it's not very big. It's tiny, it's not big enough for the tent. I've only got me one man tent, like, but it's just sodden the grass as well. Absolutely sodden. So I can't pitch anywhere up there. So I'm coming down. I started going back the way I came. But that's over there. I'm heading up there. Which is... I've got the name of it. Big Thruton. Can he walk like? Broad Hope Hill. Broad Hope Hill, 517 metres. See it on the map that it's not steep. <laughs> it looks steep from here. Anyway, I'm walking on this bloody. This is meant to be the permissive way. Look at it, they've been cutting it down. It's really hard to walk on it's underneath. Every so often, you stand in a big bloody hole. Can I get any pace going? Feel fit like. Got my second wind back. After going up and down all them hills, I've walked a good few miles a day like. Uh, yeah, I mean, never mind. It's still, it's still only quarter to five. It'll be up there about half five. It looks flat on the top. And there's 
a trip point up there, I can see. See, see what it's like. If I kind of get pitched up there, I'm going to just abandon. I'll head over to Cold Law. The time's dragging now, I'm kind of running out of time, running out of daylight. Over there, Scotland. Over that way. Scotland. Borders up there. Ocho Bothies over there somewhere at the back of there. Mountain refuge. Right, I'm going to crack on here because I've got to concentrate on this blooming ground. It's really hard to walk on. It's just massive bloody holes, divots. Turn an angle easy on this, like, shocking path. Let's crack on, but maybe that's where I'm aiming for up there. Let's see what happens. Far to go now. Look at that. That's the Cheviot. The Cheviot. I was going to go up there and I thought, nah, because look at the cloud. Look at it. I should have went up. Devastated. I came from up there. That's Scald Hill at the top of there. I've come all the way down. Down that path there. Went round and then it's up here. Now I'm going up there, brought up what should be like really bad. Just to prove a point about this view ranger though, look at this for accuracy. That's the, I'll just recenter it. That's recentered there. See where the, I'm walking this path to the top of the hill. But there's a crossroads there, which if you zoom out, that'll take us back to the car tomorrow. And that's that way. And there's the style. There's the style for that crossroads there. You can't get much accurate other than that, can you? So tomorrow I'll come down, cross here, and way down there, back to the car, just follow the path to the car. That, that is, that's pinpoint accuracy, man. Look at that, it's the, the cross is dead on the crossroads. The red cross. As long as you've got batteries, keep your phone charged. Kind of gone wrong with you, Ranger. Like all these dead expensive GPS things, good in their own way, but fuel Ranger, man. And you can plot your track as well, you can do all sorts with it. Right, anyway, I'm gonna push on. I'll not be filming now to get up there and get set up because uh, this, this video is gonna be far too long, just a load of waffling. Like, I might cut a few bits out. Here we go, anyway, crack on. Set up eventually. Walk for miles like I'm on the track. This sand, it's uh, it's pretty soft the sand, uh, the grass sand. It's comfortable in there because it's level and it's on top of this nice soft sand, so yeah it's quite comfortable. It's not tidy but it will be. I'm set up at the top of Broad Hope Hill, it is. So 526 metres. That's the Cheviot over there, I'm looking at. Your actual Cheviot of Cheviot Hills fame. It's coming down from there to that is Scald Hill, where I was originally. Bloody miles away. So I've walked. <laughs> I've walked up from this hot up valley all the way up to Scald Hill, all the way up there. Look, went halfway down the other side of the thing. Nothing, no flat bits, nothing dry. Came back up, looked at the Cheviot, thought there's not going to be any places on there. And then I came down the front of Scald Hill. I come down the front of it trying to find some space but there was none so I had to go back across to find the, the footpath, link up with the footpath over that side so I'm going to walk all that way from when I set my um, view ranger it was 1.7 miles 
walk all the way down the hill, the, the blooming bypassed all the heather, so I had to come around in a, in a loop, and then all the way around and then up that blooming hill up, up here. Phew, long way, like. But you know, there's nothing spoiling all day. That's my little spot. It's alright. I'm just well aware that I'm in the heather, like, and there's a. Uh, there's already been loads of creepy crawlies on us, the spiders, and I'm bothered about them. It's the ticks I'm looking at. Just keep my eyes peeled for ticks. Spiders I can live with. Oh, anyway, so for tonight, if I can have one in a minute, I think I've earned it. I've got six of them. Northern Monk, right here. It's one of the nicest ones you can buy um, if you like your hoppy ales. That's one of the best ones you can get. Kind of percentage as well, 6.2. I've got six of them, I'm going to be mortal later on. And for me, tea, I've got a bit of steak in there, some mushrooms, um, and some Chinese barbecue stir fry. So, do that later. Once the biting insects vanish. Lord, look. The things crawling all over. Get over it. I'll be doing that all night. Ticks, spiders, Christ knows. Oh, things just went in my eye. Midges, flies. What's what's the attraction of wild camping again? Oh, solitude. Listen, listen to the noise. Just to give you some idea, that's Bamber Castle. And if I very gently move this, I'm right zoomed in here, like. There's the Fawn Islands. Oh. Yep, that's the Fawns. That's the East Coast. Basically, is what I'm saying. So I'm directly opposite there. You can see it from here like without the zoom lens, but I only just mind you, you know, I just make it out. So up the coastline would be Linda's farm, but anyway. But look how far away it is. It's quite a way. It's a long way off. Got midges buzzing around. Yeah, yeah, I'm quite away from Barnborough Castle. <laughs> but I'm having great fun because I've got Northern Monkey. Northern Monkey. And Craig Charles is on. Obviously, I've turned him off now for copyright reasons now that I'm monetized. Apologies for monetizing my channel. But I thought, why not? Don't make a lot of money, right? But in the few weeks that I've done it, I made $10. <laughs> What am I going to do with all that wealth? Oh, no idea. I'll talk about six quid as I make fun. I'm just waiting on the sun starting its descent. I'll, see, I'll set my GoPro up for that time lapse. And then hopefully there's no big moon. I can't see it. There's no moon up yet. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed it doesn't come up. Oh, I'll be devastated if it does, because Aurora's forecast tonight. I've got my GoPro with us, all charged up ready. So we'll see. That's the Cheviot there. I'm beginning to wish I had gone up there now. I felt alright, you know, I've walked enough miles, I could have easily went up. I should have just kept going. I should have just kept going when I got to the... That bit there, when I got there. And then I turned back. Uh, one day I'll get up there. Never done it. Never been up the Cheviot. Strange as that might seem, since it's right on my doorstep. I've never climbed the Cheviot. I know it's not hard, 
it's just a long way, but apparently it's dead boggy up there. Like really wet and ugh, not camping perfect. I'm gonna get me uh, tea on shortly. That's the way home tomorrow, down there, and then across there somewhere. I'll follow the path, there is a path goes down. But for now, I'm gonna do this sunset, and then I'll, I'll come back when I'm cooking the, cooking the steak, see how that turns out. Nice night, like. Well, it's turned out really nice from before when it was raining and that, and the wind. It's absolutely still, dead still. There's not that many midges and flies about. It has gone a bit cold, so they'll be uh, they'll all be taking shelter now. They don't like the cold. That's it now, isn't it? September the 9th, uh, autumn. The season's changing. You can feel the nip in the air. <clears throat> it's not been a bad summer, I suppose. A little bit wet, but <sighs> been out a few times. Right, so, I'll we'll just crack on. Lovely night. What a lovely night. Oh, yes. Look at that, man. What's going on? I was getting soaked by rain before. Nice. Craig Charles on. Beer. And I'm just going to about. Uh, Cook myself a nice steak. Who would have thought when I was heading up it would end up like this? Fabulous. Tonight is Steak night! And what a steak! It's a nice one now. Huh? A little bit of fat in it. Oh, I'll cut that out. The fat helps it cook though, doesn't it? You render the fat. I've got me uh, Blue Dragon Chinese barbecue stir fry sauce. Mushrooms! So, I'm gonna cook this. Bring you back to show you what it looks like all cooked in that. And then I'm gonna stuff my face. <laughs> Like, stuff my face. Stuff it. Stuff it. Yeah, the beer's going down well. Everything's going well. It's it turned out to be a really good trip. I've got to set that up for the night laps. Hopefully there's no moon. I can't see it still. I've got fingers crossed that he's not going to appear. And hopefully there'll be some stars. We shall see. Meantime, needs to turn another. That's where it's at. That's the steak there. It's tender. Watch. Tendal mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Barbecue sauce, nice. So I'm gonna scoff it. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm eating on camera. There's nothing worse. I'm gonna scoff it and then I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna kick back and crack on with Craig Charles and just chill out. Somebody else chilling out. Right. Let's get stuck in. Five o'clock in the morning, but the wind is horrendous. It's coming from that side, along the side of this, just pull on the side of this in. See the tent itself is alright. It's just blowing this. 
really fast right now. Coming from the side of it. Oh, I, have no, I had no idea what was going to happen. Uh, can't sleep with the dogs. I think the safest option is to bail. Around at 6 o'clock. But uh, I don't think the tent will give up, like, but it's just it's annoying with that. Pushing on us. Not a sickener. Bloody wind, man. Where does it come from? It says on the weather map that there's no wind. Five, six miles an hour. It's more like 30, bloody 30, 40 coming straight on the side of the tent. Stupid this like. Hey. Oh, let's see what happens. Not looking good though. Folks, I'm going to do what any self respecting wild camper would do in a storm like this, a windy storm like this. Have a cup of tea. Get the kettle on. Have a cup of tea. And then I'm going to bail out. Oh, what the, the video camera? I'm going to bail out after my cup of tea. Because it's still pitch dark out there. Look at this, it's still really night time. I don't know I'm gone. The sun's about to come up. I six the sun comes up. I'm hanging about for that, right? For that hour, yeah. So I cup of tea, pack up and go. Right, said Fred. Have a cup of tea. That's what I'm going to do. Let's stay to this place. It's like a bombs went off. <laughs> what a flipping life we lead. Well, that's the sun just there. Uh, still below the horizon. It's going to be at least an hour before it comes up. Look at the sky, it's red. It's going to be some spectacular sunrise, that like. Because the clouds dissipates. But if you're looking out to sea in the mornings these days, you'll see a big bright shining star. It's actually the planet Venus. It just rises in the east. I think it's this time of year. Isn't it? The moon's still out. It's somewhere up there. It, uh, <laughs> It's blowing about 35, 40 mile an hour winds now. It's getting a bit much this. But I'm going to have a nice cup of tea, folks. Uh, coffee, anyway. There's no like it. Make you feel better. Cooking was a bit of a uh, adventure, like. But I think, unless that sunrise comes up spectacularly, this is the last video. I've got that Ford to drive through. I hope the rain hasn't... Uh, well, it hasn't been any rain, actually, has it? Ah, that's the thing. There hasn't been any rain. Oh, that should be alright. Right, I'm gonna get tidied up and get off. So, I'll catch up with you on the next one. Good as that's gonna get. Oh no, so...
from right up the back of there and up and over the back of there. It's come from miles like. And there's no path really. You just have to make your own. So that's what I'm doing. Best trick is to look for like signs of worn grass where the sheep sheep trails I think they're called and that's the path I need to be on there. Straight east. <sighs> First time I've used a compass in a long time. Just to double check, well, you don't really need a compass when you've got that coming up. You can tell pretty much where the east is. But I was just checking the compass for the accuracy and that was pointing dead east, so... All good. Uh, the clouds are killing that a bit, aren't they? I've got a little trot along that track there. That hill there is called Black Seat Hill. I thought I'd be going over the top of that, but it took us around the back of it. Don't worry, I'm going down into that valley there, all the way down the valley. Somewhere in that valley is my car, because that's Langley Crag over there, isn't it? Yep, so that's me. Final destination. <sighs> Look at that sunshine, that's nice. Listen to these weird birds. <laughs> That's the sunrise. That's it. It's just going to head straight into that big bank of cloud. <laughs> well, at least I'm down and well, I'm out with the tent packed away, I'm relatively safe. It's not for the faint hearted coming up here, like, because there's just no paths. You've got to find your way. You can get lost so easily, but if you keep, keep little way markers. I think that's a uh, what's hedge hope that keep that to your right. Keep the crags, um, Langley crags, Halsey crags, and then you've got that as your marker. <clears throat> but if it was cloudy, like thick cloud, no sun, you'd be struggling, mind. Hey, let's use your compass. Oh, what's up there? Listen to them bloody birds, man, they're weird. It's burning out. Right, that's enough of that. I'll get going. I'll get back. There's a bacon sandwich with my name on it at the end of this. Alright, that's it. That's all I'm doing. So, like I said before, till the next one. Over and out.